hello everyone in this video we are going to see about the registers we know that registers are the group of flip-flops and the flip-flop is a circuit that can store one bit at a time a register is a device which is used to store such information it is a group of flip-flops connected in series used to store multiple bits of data that's the definition of registers n flip-flops are to be connected in an order to store n bits of data that means we have to for one bit we need one flip-flop for n bits we need n flip-flops which are connected in some pattern the information stored within these registers can be transferred with the help of the shift registers these shift registers as the name implies they shift the data from one register to the other register a n bit, an n bit shift register can be formed by connecting n flip-flops where each flip-flop stores a single bit of data registers which will shift the bits of to the left are called shift left registers and registers which shift the data right are called the right shift register so we can either shift left or shift right using this shift registers let us see the circuit diagram of the shift register so here we are having a four bit shift register where these shift registers always work under the clock control so we also know that d flip flop is help uh, is the flip flop that helps to do the data transfer transfer is nothing but shifting the data so this d flip flop are arranged in four numbers because we have four input of data and now we also know that we have a q and the q bar input q is the input and q bar is the output and likewise we have four flip-flops over here and the inputs are d1 d2 d3 and d4 and the outputs are q1 q2 q3 and q4 and this is the clock circuit which uh, connects serially all the flip-flops okay so it, it's one of the input to the flip-flop and we also mentioned this clock is this triangle symbol okay so that's all this is circuit diagram let us see what are the types of registers shift registers are basically of four types these are serial in serial out shift register siso and then serial in parallel out shift register sipo and then parallel in serial out shift register which is piso and the fourth one parallel in and parallel out shift registers pipo depending upon how the data is input and how it is output they are divided into these four categories so what is serial in to parallel out is sipo is register is loaded with serial data one bit at a time so this is the point to be noted here only one bit is uh, loaded at a time and that uh, bit will be shifted to the output in a parallel form so that is the serial in and parallel out data next one is serial into serial out the data shifted in and out of the register one bit at a time so one bit gets in one bit goes out and either in the left or the right direction under the clock control so these always work under the clock control when the clock triggers or clock pulses goes to the high level this transfer takes place it also happens when the clock goes in the low level it is also it is called positive triggered or negative triggered clocks okay the third one is parallel into serial out as the name implies the parallel data is loaded to the shift register and simultaneously one bit at a time will be given as an output and finally the parallel into parallel out the data is input parallelly or simultaneously to all the registers and in a clock tick or a same clock plus Call, uh, clock pulse all the data will be transferred to the output so this is parallel in and parallel out so the way the data is input and the way the data is got as an output under the clock control are the is the reason by which all these four types of shift registers occur let us see the diagram of this how the transfer takes place so we are going to shift the data from register a to register b and so is the output data si is the input data so initially input goes to the first shift register which is the input register and then one shift takes one output is uh, passed to the shift register and then this goes in a loop to shift all the bits accordingly it is 4 bit or 8 bit or 16 bits this loop rotates and then finally the shift takes place and the answer will be got in the shift register b which is the output register and this is a clock pulse and shift control signal is here so these two pulses are 
given as input of the AND gain, we know that AND works when both the inputs are high and gives the high output. So when the clock is high and the shift control is also high, the the AND gate gives the high output which is passed to the register A and register B accordingly whether it is serial input or parallel input and serial output or parallel output the clock pulses ticks and accordingly the shift takes place. So this is the clock diagram which is the square diagram. So this is the low and this, this is the lower level and this is the edge and this is the higher level and then lower edge higher likewise this clock pulse moves in a square pattern. So shift control here we can see here this is the low of the shift control and this is the high end of the shift control then it comes to the low end that means when these are high and these shift are high so the both are and so the shift takes place only in this area and shift control is negative here one of the input is zero means clock pulse also will not work and the shift also will not take take place but when the shift control is high and the clock pulse is high both the input are and which means that really the shift takes place from one register to the other register. this is the meaning of this diagram how the shifting takes place from register a to register b so we have two controls clock control and the shift control okay so let us see how the data is really shifted by this uh, diagram so as just we have seen in the previous video previous uh, slide so these are the input bits x0 x1 x2 x3 and this is the clock pulse which is connected to all the inputs and this is the input of this x register or the input device and here this is the y register is the output register which is just given shaded so y0 y1 y3 and y4 so when so how the transfer takes place this is a serial data transfer how it takes place when the one clock ticks x0 is moved to y3 when the second clock ticks y3 shift the data to y2 and this x0 and this x1 moves the data to x0 okay so when the shift happens one shift means all the data is shifted one position that means 1101 will be just shifted right to 1101 likewise every shift in the particular bit takes place one when the clock ticks since we have four bits of data here one two three four clock pulses are here for one clock pulse one bit get transferred to all the registers accordingly when the clock ticks four times the data is shifted this is one time the first shift this is the second shift and this is the third shift when the fourth shift happens all the data transfers from register a to register b or x register to y register generally input register to the output register so these arrows shows the flow of the data once the clock pulse ticks okay so this is is how the serial data transfer takes place in the shift registers and accordingly whether we need to do the parallel data transfer then the clock pulse has to be given simultaneously so at that time all the four bits will be transferred to the register y so this is how the shift registers work and hope this is easy to follow and thanks for 